So into this video, I want to address something that was on my mind for a while now. Recently, Valve came out and stated that it's not quite fair for the consumers to get yearly iterations of consoles like the Steam Deck. And that's something that I wanted to address for a while. So here's the thing. You know that I'm a really big handheld guy. I love these consoles. As you can see, I have several of them, even older ones, retro consoles. So it's something that I really enjoy playing. Now we had these two amazing consoles, the Steam deck and also the ROG Ally and uh, since they were released we got new let's say iterations of both of these models we had the OLED Steam Deck but also the ROG Ally X which as you can see I don't even have anymore and while those are amazing consoles and definitely improvements from these ones those aren't really a second iteration of them they are just some small improvements and if you already had these I don't really see a reason to upgrade well at least not most of you and that's the same for me now let's take an example from the smartphones in the market and you see yearly iterations for the iphone samsung's and all that and it's somehow becoming a trend now that every tech company is trying to release a new version of their product each year now you might expect that valve and asus are doing the same and i also mentioned this in a couple of my older videos especially when i talked about the rog ally x that I said that I would not get that one because I am expecting the ROG Ally 2 that will come next year. But then this got me thinking, is this actually the case? Will we actually see a ROG Ally 2 coming next year? And now with this statement from Valve, it's getting more and more clear, at least for me, that that might not be the case. Now, if you're talking about consoles, we had the likes of Xbox and PlayStation, which we don't get yearly iteration. This usually comes around four or five years, depending on the manufacturer. And you take the example from Sony now that they just released the PS5 Pro, but Xbox haven't gone that route. They are not releasing a 0.5 version, if you want to call it like that. They are waiting for the next generation to come out. And if you are comparing these devices with the other consoles, because for me, in the end, these are more consoles like than PCs, then you might consider that to be the case also for them. And for the consumer, I think that's actually a great idea. And here's why. Now, at least for me, which I like to have the latest every time, it would become an issue if I had to get all these devices every time they are released. Now with the ROG Ally X was a burden for me because I liked that device and I wanted to keep it. But in the end, I did a smart choice. So that's what I think about returning it because the improvements while they are there, it's not something that you actually need if you already have the original one. And if we would get yearly iterations, so next year would get the ROG Ally 2, then I'll definitely need to pick it up and most likely I'll keep it because I like to have the latest thing. Now, if the improvements are there, then definitely release them and I'll be happy to pay for it and use that device as my own. But I don't really think that technology is advancing fast enough that we would definitely need a new console when it comes to these two. Now, for these, it's a bit in the middle because while I do consider them to be consoles, these in the end are still PCs and you know how the PC market is. And actually, that's one of the main reasons why I stopped owning a PC ever since, I believe, 2007. If you've seen my other videos, you know that the ROG Ally it's my only PC that I have owned in the past, I don't know, maybe seven years. And that's because I didn't want to upgrade the components every time. And while the graphics are great, the performance is amazing when you compare a proper PC with a console. I'm not that type of player that I need the most FPS when I'm gaming. So that's why a console made more sense to me. And I'm not getting to that uh, discussion now about frame rates and also prices for games when you compare consoles consoles to PC. That's not about this. Maybe I'll do another video sometime soon. But what I want to say is that I like the console aspect where you have it and you know that for at least five, six years or even more than that, you are good to go. You'll be able to play all the latest games that are released and most of the games are still released on consoles, maybe even more if you take Sony's games, even though they are released a couple of years later. So when it comes to that aspect, I prefer the console just because I know that I can play all the games right there on the spot. And 
for these consoles it's actually similar and even though they're not the most powerful ones at least the triple a's that i have tested it out i don't think i have any example that haven't worked for me they are definitely there but at least the games that i usually play i can do that on the rog ally and that's why i love this device and again i'm not talking about frame rates and graphics and all that the game just works and for a handheld that's amazing so now when it comes to a new iteration for these consoles it's somewhere in the middle because on one point you would say let's stick to what sony and microsoft are doing let's keep the same device for a couple of years of course you can bring upgrades like we had with the rog ally x but then again it's still a pc and you know that technology is advancing you get better processor maybe each year better graphic cards so that's why we may expect that these consoles will get new iterations sooner than let's say the ps5 now valve is stating in that tweet that they don't really see why the customers should go through the burden of getting new iterations each year and on one hand i think that's amazing because you don't need to worry about upgrading each year you know that if you buy a device like the steam deck then you're good to go for a couple of years but on the other hand you would like a better processor to play more games and that's something that you need to consider but then again while we do expect each year new processors and they are at least a tiny bit better than the old one you don't really see a reason why you should upgrade and that's the same case also for the consoles that the ps5 new processor have come out since then but you don't see them coming up with the ps5.2 or whatever in the two years just because a new amd processor is out and it's better than the old one and even if you take the rog ally and the rog ally x while we still have the same processor you are getting a couple of upgrades and more fps comparing to this one but then again it's not really worth it at least from my point of view now what valve is stating is that also they are waiting for an actually upgrade when it comes to the hardware and i think that's actually the case why we will stick with this one and at least from valve we will not get new iterations anytime soon while amd is coming up with new processors the z1 extreme you have to keep in mind that it was manufactured specifically for the handhelds like the rog ally and i'm not really seeing a z2 extreme coming up anytime soon well maybe it will come out but it will not be that powerful when you compare it with the original one so I'm expecting a really big improvement when it comes to the Z1 Extreme and only then these manufacturers might bring new consoles to the table. While that might not be the case and maybe next year we'll just see the ROG Ally 2. From Valve I do believe that's something that they will stick to. Especially you'll have to consider that Valve have a bit of different strategy when it comes to these consoles because they're not really selling the hardware and while this is made by them and uh, you are buying and you are paying money to Valve to get these consoles, you'll have to consider that they get more money out of the software because this is made for Steam games. And again, you can still put some other libraries on here, but this is mostly for Steam and most of the gamers will stick to the Steam library. And then you'll have to buy new games on Steam. And it's actually something that I've been doing ever since I got it. Before I got the Steam Deck, I had maybe 10 games on my Steam library, but since then I have a couple of hundreds just because I wanted to enjoy the games on the Steam Deck. So this is the strategy that Valve is chosen because they get more money when you're buying games and not because they are selling hardware. And of course, if something exciting will come up when it comes to hardware, I think they will definitely pull the trigger on it and they will create a Steam Deck 2 but I'm not expecting that to happen anytime soon and again I might be wrong because I also mentioned in my previous videos that I am expecting an Ally 2 next year Asus may take a different route and you do have other examples from these PC manufacturers like Ionio the Chinese company which honestly they've made a couple of consoles each year and you will not be able to keep pace if you are sticking with the latest technology from Ionio so that's why people maybe they will stick with their older consoles at least until you get a really big upgrade and another big aspect that you need to consider is while 
Me personally, I only have the ROG Ally as the single PC that I have currently. Most of you out there are not doing the same. This is actually like a secondary console. You still have a proper PC, but you like to have your games on the go. And that's why you may have a console like the ROG Ally or the Steam Deck. So if that's the case, then you will definitely not jump on the second iteration if that comes up next year because you still have your main PC to play your favorite games. So while we don't know what exactly will go on, to be honest, I really hope that we will not get yearly iterations for these consoles. I don't want to see in the same strategy as the smartphone companies are doing. Even for my iPhone, I couldn't really have the iPhone 15 Pro and Usually I like to upgrade, but this time I decided it's not worth it. And I truly believe that even those smartphone companies, if they decide to come up with the new smartphone each two years, I think the consumers will still be okay. And actually you will get more out of your new device if you don't upgrade yearly. But who knows, that's just something that I had on my mind for a while and I wanted to address. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you consider that we need an ROG Ally 2 or a Steam Deck 2 next year? or you are happy with them and you hope that they will not get released and again if they do release it it's up to you if you decide to upgrade or not but let me know in the comments what you think and if you like this type of videos because it's more a point and shoot type of video let me know and i'll do more like this that's it for this video this is the tech carnival and i'll catch you in the next one